To make a round basket, I have cut the spokes the length that I want them. So I'm taking into account the base and then for the height when I turn these up. I have already marked the centers of these five. So I'm going to do that again. There was a prior lesson on marking centers, but I'll do one more. I'm finding the bad side. I can clearly see very, very prominent little hairs. When I turn it to the other side, it's smooth. My initial one, when I find the bad side, then I would have it on the inside and bring it up like this and then just make a little mark. Then I would use this piece as a measuring piece for all of the other ones. So I've laid them on the table so that they are approximately the same length on the ends. However, when you cut these in multiple pieces at once, they're not going to be exact, but they're going to be cut off at the end anyway. So then I have determined that I want another mark two inches away from the center. So I put my center mark here at the two, and then I make a mark at the starter, and then I go over to the four and make a mark, and then I can just mark all of these at the same time. So I lay that one down, and then I just lightly mark those, hold on to them so that you don't move them around, and then on this side for the four inches. And I really shouldn't rely on my guesstimations. I should line them up like this so that I know that they're even. So then, that still doesn't look right to me. Let me see if this is two inches. Okay, that's two inches. And I was right. That was way off. That's two inches. So then I'll lay that down, use it as a straight edge, and just lightly go over it. You don't need really dark marks. Now you'll see in the next lesson why I am marking in the center and on each side.